Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, hottest news from crypto world are already here. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's start. Why Bitcoin high bias is vulnerable if it continues to fight below $35,000? The Bitcoin price made another attempt to clear $35,000 of the US dollar but failed. After the big jump, the price of Bitcoin basically reduced its profits and dropped below $35,000. BTC even fell below the $34,000 support level and the 100-hour simple moving average. The low has formed around $32,178 and is currently correcting upward. There was a break about the 23.6% downtrend from the swing high of $38,590 to the low of $32,178. Bitcoin currently maintains a key support level of $33,000 and is testing a 100-hour simple moving average. On the early chart of the BTC-USD pair, it looks like a key contracting triangle is forming with resistance around $34,500. The next major resistance above the triangle is around the $34,850. New investment in flow helps Ethereum to exceed $1,400 despite rising gas prices. The world's second-largest cryptocurrency, Ethereum, has taken a bold move, surpassing the $1,400 level again. Ethereum surpassed $1,400 but failed to hold momentum to hit its all-time high. Ethereum consolidated in the same way as Bitcoin for a while before surpassing its previous 20,000 ADH. Well, technically, the charts show that ADH is gearing up for Bitcoin-like breakout soon. Network data provider Sentiment notes that a stream of new investors has been coming to Ethereum lately, which keeps momentum. On the other hand, CryptoQuant data suggests a large amount of ETH has been withdrawn from exchanges lately. The total amount of ETH on exchanges recently hit a new all-time low. Over the past 30 days, 3.75 million ETH worth $4.97 billion have gone from exchanges. Perhaps these ETH coins went to Ethereum 2.0 staking called Storage or DEX. US SEC accuses Bitcoin to Gen executives of defrauding investors in 11,400 million crypto to scheme. The US SEC accused three persons of defrauding investors of $11.4 million. The Securities and Exchange Commission reported that Christie, DeMar and Annas allegedly promised to provide investors with an Ethereum-based token, which the regulator claims never existed. The three allegedly distributed miles leading brochures to 46 investors, promising a tradable and minable digital token, but selling the fake for funds they never returned. The perpetrators received $11.4 million through the Bitcoin to Gen project and another project called Start Options, all of which were unregistered and fraudulent securities offerings. The Bitcoin to Gen project also relied on the blessing of Steven Siegel, the famous action movie actor. Christie and DeMar tutted the action actor as a brand ambassador for Bitcoin. Siegel's Twitter account, which had approximately 107,000 followers, posted messages about the firm and its initial coin offering in 2018. Ripple price rejected at $0.75. Can this important support hold? Ripple's massive breakout hit a critical barrier at $0.75, capitulating short-term stockholders. XRP is hovering at $0.38 after a sudden sharp from February 1st highs at $0.75. The support expected at $0.7 dollars $0 fell short of expectations, leaving the bears in a full control. Meanwhile, a simple moving average of 50 came in handy, limiting the break below the $0.30. $34. It is important that this support persists, otherwise XRP could continue to freeze to dominant levels in January. Moving average convergence divergence continues to reinforce pessimistic forecasts, especially now that the MACD line has crossed below the signal line. In other words, recovery will not be an easy walk and there will be more losses before buyers can control the cross-border token. Bitcoin stablecoin supply ratio falls as buying pressure increases. 
As Bitcoin stays in its consolidation channel, more on-chain metrics suggest it might be time to buy again. Network analyst provider Glassnode noted that ratio in its latest report, which says the supply ratio of Bitcoin stablecoins is declining in 2021 as more stablecoins are minted. When the SSR is low, there is a large supply of stablecoins compared to BTC, indicating more purchasing power ready to flow into BTC and other crypto assets. The number of stable coins on exchanges has skyrocketed this year, especially for the one with the second largest market share, USDC. More than a billion dollar packed circle coins have been minted since the beginning of the year, and around 90% of them have ended up on exchanges, according to the study. Warming Senator sees Bitcoin as a great store of value. U.S. Senator Cynthia Loomis shares how she became an ardent supporter of Bitcoin. In the latest episode of the POMP podcast, Wyoming Senator Cynthia Loomis recognized Bitcoin as a great store of value, stating that it should be part of everyone's portfolio. Since it's a limited resource, I find it a very good store of value. Meanwhile, she notes that the dollar is calculated to cost less and less every year. Loomis also intends to form a financial innovation group in the U.S. Senate and educate its members and staff about Bitcoin and other opportunities in the cryptocurrency industry. She also wants to fight the false anti-crypto narrative that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are mostly used by criminals. Crypto exchange Coinbase selects Nasdaq U.S. direct listing site. Exchange operator Coinbase has selected Nasdaq U as its direct listing location. The firm's plan to go public in the coming weeks follows a secondary public offering on the Nasdaq private market. On January 25th, Nasdaq private market launched the secondary market of Coinbase shares, allowing equity holders to sell shares. Nasdaq private market offers pre-IPO services to companies, including controlled liquidity programs for pre-IPO companies looking to raise secondary capital for shareholders and investors. According to one source, shares in the private Nasdaq market were compared at $200, with 254 million shares outstanding. This is an estimated company valuation of approximately $50 billion. Altcoin season has come. Buy crypto surpasses Bitcoin Google search. Altcoins have awakened from their long crypto winner slumber. Further confirmation that altcoin season is finally arriving is confirmed by, by cryptocurrency searches that suddenly outspace similar by Bitcoin shares and Google Trends. This is why this is happening and why this is just the beginning of the altcoin boom. There are over 8,000 recognized altcoins currently being traded, according to CoinMarketCap. Apart from Bitcoin, Ethereum is the top rated altcoin. According to the Google Trends, investors are now looking the at assets beyond the two largest. Searches for buy bitcoins have been in the lead for a long time, but starting with a recent Dogecoin pump, the altcoin season seems to have begun. Robinhood raised over $600 million in revenue from order flow in 2020. The total amount received from the PFOF exceeds $600 million per year. According to the 2020 data, Robinhood, the app brokerage that made headlines for its retail stock market craze, received nearly $700 million in payments from high-speed trading companies during 2020. The firm, which offers commission-free stock trading to more than 10 million users, reported last month that it received $221.4 million in order flow payments in the fourth quarter, bringing the total of such payments last year of $675.1 million. Bitcoin Network breaks Makes records with 22.3 million unique BTC addresses registered in January. In January, the Bitcoin network was loaded with over 22.3 million dollars active BTC addresses that were sending or receiving cryptocurrency. Activity on the Bitcoin network surged in January with over 22.3 million unique BTC addresses, according to the Glassnode cryptocurrency market data aggregator. During the 2017 Bitcoin bull run, Bitcoin network activity peaked with 21 million active BTC addresses in December of that year. The growth in the number of active users of the Bitcoin network in January exceeds the previous record by 1.3 million. While the number of unique active wallets increased in January, the number of active objects on the Bitcoin network decreased, which, as defined by glass nodes, are a group of addresses controlled by a single object. So guys, this is our old news for today. Thank you for your attention. If you still have any questions, please ask them in our comment section below this video. 
Have a great day, stay safe, hope to see you tomorrow, bye!